Hey, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. How's everyone doing? Anyone fasting today? Thumbs up if you're fasting. Yana, you fasting? <laughs> Yana's going to be helping me today. Um, we'll, we'll give it maybe a minute so that people can get ready. Um, they can log on. So we're going to make... We're going to make this. It's like a little cover. But the best thing about it is when you hold it up, you can make the little people go around and the dwarf around around it like that. And then you know what else? If you open the inside, oh my gosh, there's some little sweets. Ah, your mum can put some in there or your dad can put some in there. So tomorrow when Eve comes around, you can grab all your little goodies. It could be a toy. It could be some candy. What do you? What would you like in there? Yeah, the art supplies, <laughs> if they fit. But I have some ring pops. I have two, one for each of my children. They're going to get them to that tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So uh, thumbs up if you're ready to start the craft. All right, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to switch to the overhead. And this is what, when you've made it, you'll be able to hold the cover down and you'll be able to make the people go round in a circle like such. Like that. Okay, so what you're gonna need is one for you. you. From your craft pack over here, you wanna grab your cube, the little black cube, and we're gonna open it up. And we're going to kind of just basically make the bottom. So the bottom is this side um, where you have the little flaps. And the top has the lid. We don't want to, we can close the lid if you want, and you can just, we're just going to make the cube for now. So at the bottom, you're going to have four flaps, and we're just going to fold them in. This is the little tricky part. So we're going to fold them in, and then you have these little bits. I don't know if you can see it, and you have that little cutout. So you want to slide in the cutout. Yeah, Yanni, you got it. Do the cutouts go on the inside or the outside? So let's do it again. So when you want to push the cutouts in first. So you want to push these in like such, both of them in. And then the next flap, you just want to push so that the cutout slips into it. Like that. You got it? You can do the next yeah. one. It's a little hard to see, um, but hopefully you should be able to get it. If not, you can ask someone. If you've made it, that's great. So you should, once you've done, you should have a nice cube. Make sure this is the bottom and, and you want to keep the top at the top because that's the part where you want to put your sweets and your toys in, okay? So now... What part is the bottom? The bottom part is, this is the lid. It should that's have the, the biggest top. flap. This is the top. And the bottom part should be made with the little cutout flaps. So this is the top with the big flap. With the big flap. And then that's so the bottom the part the there four. with the four tiny small flaps. So you want to make the bottom one. And then the top one, you want to make sure we can put open and close it and put stuff in there. Okay. So now we have a little garba going. We've got the, the start of it. If you want to make it easy, just leave the flap open so we won't get confused, okay? So in your other, in your, also in your pack, you should have some gold paper. You have your gold paper? Yeah? Have gold paper. Yeah, have your gold paper. We're going to need a ruler. I forgot to mention in the information that we, if you can run and grab a ruler or a straight line, we just need to cut the little strips that you see over here so if you have a ruler it'll be easy to cut um, or if you have a cutting um, one of those uh, cutters you could use that well, I, have, I also have one of these if you have one of these you can use that otherwise use scissors pencil and a ruler so to make to make your little gold strips what we can do you want to measure it and cut a little strip out, maybe half an inch thick. Half an inch. Yeah, so you wanna measure, yeah. you wanna measure the gaba. So let's measure the um, width of this. The width of this? Yeah, should be about three inches. 
Yeah, yeah three and inches. then and maybe you want to make a three inch strip about half an inch wide. So oh. turn it over and you can use a pencil okay. and you can measure on there um, three inches and then half an inch and then draw a line and cut it. So it'll be so half half, an let's inch. make it around about half an inch. You can make it a little bit smaller if you want. So well, we want to half an inch yeah. wide, right? Yeah, and then and draw and half then... an inch on the other end so you get a nice straight line. Okay. So on your sheet, you want to mark half an inch and then draw a straight line and then we can cut. And then you want to repeat oh, that. Line. Yeah. Up to three, three inches because this is three inches. Yeah, long. so that's from one to four. Oh, that is okay. Okay. Yeah, but if you just draw a line, we can always trim it down at the end. So just draw a line all the way across to make it easy. And then you want to repeat that three more times. So just do another one half time. inch. Okay. And then we can just cut them all in one go. All right, so half of an so inch. Half, yeah. Half an inch. Yeah. And then three inch. Well, just, just draw a line all the way all the way across and then we can always trim it down. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to do it two more times. Because there's four sides to the cube and we want to what put are we the lines on. On the back of the gold paper. Okay. So just flip it over and then we're just gonna make just draw lines, four lines all the way across. So how much would you have to cut it? So we want to do it the same thick width of the box. So it has to be three inches wide and half an inch thick. Okay. Yeah, so you just need four strips and then we can cut them down and stick them on. Okay. If you have a paper cutter that works as well. So I will use the paper cutter. Okay. So I've drawn my lines. So you can now cut it out if you want. Well, my lines are not three inches long. Okay. So I'm going to measure it. That's a good idea. Two, three inches to three inches on the top and the bottom. So it stays, so the line stays straight. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to draw a line through it. So I only need this much of the okay. line. So now you can cut them out. Right. So I don't need these anymore. Oh, we're going to need to make cut the door out. So keep your gold paper. Don't oh, lose it. Okay. We can even use that last that little bit as well. So you want to cut these strips out. There's one. Yep. Let's get some glue. Now, do you guys have some uh, liquid glue? Is probably the easiest. Use this one. Maybe the other one will be easier. Use this one. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to stick it at kind of at the top. Can you see? We're just going to leave a little gap, maybe at the, just a small gap. And we're just going to wrap it all the way around. So you can use that paintbrush. Or you, if you have a glue stick, you can use a glue stick and stick it on. Um, yeah. Whichever's easy. I didn't have all my glue, glue sticks have dried out. So I'm going to use liquid glue. And you can sometimes you might have it in a bottle. You can use it and just use the bottle. In my case, I just have actual liquid glue that I put into a small container and a plate or some kind, and then um, I'm going to stick it down. Yeah. So make sure try and get as even as you as possible as it's sticking. Otherwise, if um, if you want to make sure you can use a ruler just to measure the top or you can eyeball it. But yeah, you're going to have to hold it just so that it sticks down like that. There you go. Nicely done. 
Good. Yeah, and then you want to rotate it and then do the next side. Yeah, so on all four sides. On all four we're going to be doing sides. This. That's correct. And make sure you get the ends because if you don't get the ends, they will start peeling off. So you can always come in and um, and put some glue on again at the end. Yeah. Or if it's easy, you can go straight onto the black cube, the box, and you can put it on there. Yeah, so make sure it all lines up, all the gold piece edges line yeah. up. Like that? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and then we just want to go around and do all the sides. Okay, the next two sides. Yep. All right. All right, has everyone already done their cube? Almost. Almost we've done we've done Yana's done three sides right now. Yep. Almost done. to come in okay right. is it sticking down make sure you hold it so it sticks otherwise the yeah. paper will fall off so we don't want that to happen no we don't want to stay intact right. oh look somebody's already done this very nice is that Nura did you finish yours all right, okay, so we're gonna, after you've done that, we'll wait for, we'll just wait for a few minutes for everyone else to catch up. Once you've done this, oh, look, you guys, the crew, the Taz crew, they look like they're done. Okay, the other part we're gonna do, we're gonna make a door. So with some of the leftover gold, we should have some pieces left over. We're going to make a door like that. It doesn't have to be accurate. It can kind of, you, just, you can eyeball that. So our corners are coming off. So we're just gonna go in and just put a little bit of, <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna put a little bit of glue on the end because it's peeling off a little bit. But that can be fixed. Okay. All right, so for the door, it doesn't have to be, you can make it any size, but to just get an idea, we want to make a door roughly about, this is about, how big is this, Yana? Make it about, it's probably a bit too big, isn't it? So let's make it about one and a half inches. Okay. Or just a little bit, just small, just slightly smaller than two inches, in between two inches and one and a half. You want to make okay. a door, and how wide are we going to make it? Well, this sheet of paper about an is, inch, maybe. Yeah, this is one, one and a half inches. Yeah. So I'm going to cut. So we're just going to cut a little piece off at the bottom. So you just want a rectangle, roughly about just under two inches and just under one and a half. And then, if you want, you can cut a little door, a little slit, like this. With what? You can cut a little V from it, from the middle. So a little trick, if you want to get it right in the center, you can fold it there and then you can just cut it. So if you want to get it right in the middle, you can fold the sheet of the door in half and then you can just cut a small little V going across. Oh, so you would cut it like... Yeah, like that. So you would cut it like... Can you this. see it? Can you see it kind of? So when I cut it like this, if you cut it together, it'll be a nice it. even door. And I unfold it and I have this. Kind of looks like pants. It does, pants. little trousers. So now you can stick it on. So you want to make sure you stick it on the front of the box. So you've got your flap here. If you've got it flat, you want to stick it on this side. 
So the flap is the back. So the flap is at the back. So when you open it, the door it will look like this. So when you open it, the, the door will be at the front. And the flap, the big flap will be at the back. So now you can glue that on. What I do, put it right, yeah, there. and then put it a little bit to the one side. There you go, yeah, and then just cool. press it down so the glue sticks, yeah, all right. Or you could turn it over. <laughs> okay, so is everyone done the uh, the garba? Have you made the garba? No. Yes. Still working on it. Let's give a yeah. Thumbs up if you're done with the cube. Oh, so we'll, we'll wait for a little while for everyone to catch up if you haven't done it yet. Yeah, another minute. Yeah, and we'll, we'll kind of make sure all our corners are stuck down. All right, so once you've done that, you should have two sheets of paper in your pack as well, large sheets. If you want, you can keep them uh, two large sheets. Okay, one of them we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut kind of a little squiggly line all the way around and just to kind of give the illusion that it's people walking it's around. It's a big crowd of people. Yes, yeah, so a big crowd of people. If people don't walk in, you know, it's not gonna be an exact square now. So we're just gonna do a squiggly line. So take one of your sheets and we'll grab a pencil. Well, which one is gonna be the grass and which one is gonna be the crowd? Well, it doesn't matter because the people are going to be different colors. So you can choose whichever you want. One's going to be the base. One's going to be the base over here and one's going to be holding the people. So it's up to you which one you want to choose. Um, do you want to, you choose the other, which one do you want to use as the base? I think the purple one is going to be the base. Okay. And then the green is going to be the people. People, okay. okay. All right, so we want to make sure we, we want to draw a, kind of a squiggly circle around there. Um, squiggly. Yeah, you know, you want to make it smaller than the width of the big sheet. Do you want to cut it into a square? Thing? Yeah, so if you want, we can cut it into a square. Here's a little trick that I do. To cut it into a square, I fold over the edge and I just mark it on that end there. And then that gives me a perfect square. I can cut that straight line there now. Oh, I see. Yeah. So if you fold the corner, yeah, you and can make this straight. That's right. You and can. that's how you. So I'm gonna mark this. Mark it on both ends, and you get over here. And then there's an easy way of over getting here. a perfect square. So you, we can cut cut that down to a square. All right. So I'm in my ruler. Yep. Okay. We don't have to cut that off, but we want to make sure our little flower we're going to cut out it's going to sit inside here so if you want you can just draw something smaller kind of okay. almost like a circle but make it a little bit more squiggle squiggle a squiggle okay. kind of like a little loads of little s's and not too close to the edge there you go and then we're just going to cut that out All right, so can you see that? We've just drawn kind of like a flower, a squiggly yeah. line that goes around the box. Yeah, but this it, is going to be our crowd of people. Yeah. Where the people stand. So now we can cut that out. So these can be any color, right? Yeah, you can choose any color. You can be whatever color you have in your pack. It could be white, black, yellow, green, purple. Even if you have extra sheets at home, you can use any of the colors that you have. All right. 
Maybe done. You mean like the the flower for the flower piece? Do you use like the two big sheets that you got? Yeah, so there's two big sheets. One of the sheets you want to cut cut the little flower yeah. on. And when you cut it, you want to make sure it's no bigger than the small width of the sheet. So it has to sit on the inside, as you can see over here. Yeah. Can you see this is smaller than the big sheet? Yeah, but we are using the big sheets to make this. Yeah, so one sheet is the base and then the other sheet's gonna hold the people and that's what's gonna go around. So this is what you want to cut out. And you wanna try and make it smaller than the width of the sheet, okay? So that when you turn it, you still see the background underneath it. Yeah, so we can double check. We can put it on the on, on the sheet here and we can pretend to turn it around. And if it's going to get too big, we can always trim it. But I think that looks good. Yeah. It kind of looks like a split, a paint splodge, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like we've dropped some paint on a sheet of paper. OK, yeah. so we'll wait for we'll wait for a few minutes until you've all caught up. Um, the next part is going to be a little tricky because we have to make a hole through three um, sheets of paper and the card. So you might have to ask your mum or your dad or, or an adult to make a hole for you. And we're going to use one of the fasteners as well. Can you see? One of the, we're going to use one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that, anyway, that's going to be the hard part. Gonna... Wait for everybody first. Yeah, we're gonna wait for everyone. So to, let me show me your um paint splatter. Paint splatter yeah. once you're done. Hold it up. Oh look, you're nearly done. Yeah. <laughs> I like some of the colors. Oh look, nice and pink. They look like little pink flowers. Yeah. yeah so what once we're done if you want you can keep this sheet um you don't have to cut this one i cut this sheet down to be a square but if you want you can just keep it as is and you can write Eid Mubarak on the bottom like you can leave it write a little message or you okay. can say Hajj Mubarak to anyone who's just come back from Hajj so if you want to leave this sheet big you can but we're going to put this up on the on the top side of it so now we want to kind of find the center of the sheet of this. And we also need to find the center of the cube of the GABA. And what we have to do, we're going to have to make a hole inside. So let me just show you with this one. So once it's done, we're going to have to put the fastener in that's going to go on top. And then when you flip it over, it has to go through all, all the two sheets of paper and then it has to go through the um, both sheets of paper to the bottom. So that we might have to ask your mom or your dad or an adult to help out. Can you do that, Yana? Do you need, need help? So let, let's first make the hole in the cube. That's gonna be the tricky one. So you might need to get a skewer or scissors or something a little sharp, maybe a toothpick just to make a hole. Or if you're able to, you can, might be able to push the fastener through, but I find that a little tricky. So maybe you might have to use um, a, a knife of some kind or a skewer. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just yeah, gonna so flip it. Have a knife I here. have a knife, but then I don't, I don't expect everyone else to have this. Um, this is gonna be the hard part because you actually have to make a hole. You have to just make a hole right in the center. This is the tricky part and it's not easy. You don't want to hurt yourself. Yeah, be careful with your fingers. Yeah, so maybe when you're doing this. Toothpick might be best. Yeah. So that's going to be the hardest part so far. So yeah, as you see, we've made a hole. Not, let me go to the other end. So we have a hole. Mm -hmm. And we just made. So now we're going to put. Go this, back. Make that bigger. Right? Yeah. 
it's not that easy. If you want to make it easy, you can actually take it and then make the hole so that it doesn't move. But let's try this out. So, so once you're done, you should you should be able to push it through as such, right? Can you see? Yeah. So that's going to be the hardest part so far. And then the next one, we're going to make a little hole through both of these sheets as well. You can probably use scissors for this one. You can just fold it over and just do a little snip right in the middle. And then you can do the same for that, I'll let you do that. <laughs> Okay, so this thing is going to sit towards the top, right? Mm -hmm. So that hole would be like right over yeah, here. Yeah, so you can use it. You've made a mark over there and you want to make the hole right round about the center of your page. Okay, there you go. Just tiny little snip, just and then we can feed the There we go. All right. There we go. So, so then, a hole. yeah, and then what you want to do, you want to line up the brass fastener that's in the cube through, and then you want to feed it through the middle sheet and then the bottom sheet of paper. Okay. Be careful because this fastener is going to push up. So you might have to have your hand in there and then push through the hole. And again, that's, okay. this is going to be the hardest part. So you may ask your mom or your dad to help you out or an adult that's close by. There you go. That's through one sheet. And then you want to do it on the, on the next one. Yep. Right. Right. Yeah, you got it. Almost. It's a bit hard. Yeah, sometimes you just have to wiggle it so that the hole gets a little bit bigger. Ooh. All right, hold on. Ooh. Yeah, this is coming out of here. So you just need to, yeah. yeah. So just rotate it around so that the opening gets a little loose, the fastener gets a little looser. Okay. I think for this you hole, can use a pencil. I can yeah. use the tip of my pencil and just push through it a little bit to make it a bit easier. Yep, there we go. Oops. And you can do the same for that one as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And then once you've fed the fastener through all three sheet through the cube. And the two sheets of paper, you can then bend that over. You can bend the fasteners yeah. over. Yeah. Bend it over like that. Like that. And then um, let's see if everyone's done. There we go. That's the, that's the hardest part. Next part's going to be easy. Now, if you have any tape, you want to just make sure, grab some tape, and you just want to fasten the um, fastener on inside tape it to the inside, inside and on yeah so that it doesn't move and the only thing that moves is other people yeah so and it doesn't it, come apart yeah and it doesn't come apart and then you want to flip it over as well and do the underside so what well, you want to put tape on the inside yeah, and then just put tape on that so that doesn't move there we go so you want to tape that down too and then hopefully that shouldn't move. And then the only thing that moves will be the middle piece of yeah. paper. So, so far. So far, so good. And then we have a nice space over here that you can write a little message. Yeah, well, look at that. Yeah, make sure when you tape it, your cover is nice and straight. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. That's, that's the hardest part. The next part is the fun part and that's gonna get really messy now. Oh yeah. Yeah, and this uh, this is the this is the fun part. We're gonna make the people. Are we all? Should we, do we need to wait? Have you done your little garba and put push the fasteners through? Might need a little. We'll, we'll wait a little bit until you will catch up. Yeah, I see some of you have got it done. Oh, there you go. Nice. Uh, so while we're waiting, if you have a hole punch, or in my case, I have one of these um, single hole punches, 
that's for crafting. What we want to do, we want to cut out people. Yeah. So we're, 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 we're like a little bird. We're flying above the carbon. You can see the tops of their heads. So we're going to need the so small papers. We want the small sheets of paper. And what we're going to do, we're just going to cut out loads of holes like this. And just, just keep cutting. That's the fun part. Now, if you don't have this, you can just cut little scraps of paper. Or if you have the big hole punch, you can use the big hole punch as well. I'll show you. Yeah, so if you have a large hole punch like this, it also works. And then what this has to open up to grab the people. So when you're done, you should have loads of little. How did you open it? Yeah, my one flips open. Um, so we're going to use the little. Yeah, the little cutout. punch cutouts. And I think this opens, but you can also use a regular hole punch as well. And you can just put your paper in. You can make loads of little holes and just feed them through. So the idea is to make loads and loads of people, different colors. Um, if you want, if you have any tissue paper, you can ball up little sheets of tissue paper and you can glue them on. You can get little markers and you can draw little people on there. You, whatever you want, but right now from this one, we're just gonna uh, make little hole punches. We're gonna do different colors. So we've got pink, blue, we're gonna do red and yellow. We have four colors. That's okay, just uh, yeah. leave it off and then you can keep punching in and the, they will fall out. So here we go. They will fall out, right? Okay, so you can do red. And then what we're going to do, you're gonna grab some runny glue. And this is the fun part, it's really messy. While Yana's cutting them out, you're just gonna put a little bit of glue on your paper and then we're gonna grab the circles. And we're just gonna drop them on all these different colors. So if you have more different, different sheets of colored paper, you can do that. And you can put them on there. Fill them up. You got yellow. There you go. There you go. And then you could just put more glue down. And if they overlap, don't worry. You can. It, it, it'll be fine. Okay. And you want to fill the whole thing up. So now they look like little people walking around, doing the dwarf around the gaba. Now, if you want, Ayana, you can write a little Eid Mubarak message on there. You have neat writing. Yeah. yeah, I'll let you do that. You want to do that? Just write Eid Mubarak? Because tomorrow's and Eid, then, isn't so, it? Yeah, tomorrow's Eid, so you can get re ready for uh, tomorrow. Right. Write a little message. You don't have to, but you can if you want. Oh, you want to draw some sheep? You can do little sheep around there as well. Yeah. Let's see, does it work? Does it go around? Oh, it does go yeah, around. There you go. Yay, it's working. So that's yeah. what you want to do. And you want to go, how many times around do we go? Do you remember? Anyone Anyone know? How many times do we have to go around the cover? Five times? How many times, guys? Seven. Seven. So let's do it. How many have I done? I think I've done three. That's four, five, I don't know, six. And then don't forget to say your duas as well. If you don't know, then we can ask mom and dad as we go around. Seven. Seven. Oh, look, Yana's doing some little sheep as well. I think you need to teach everyone how you draw the sheep, Yana. <laughs> that little, little clouds with, a, with two little ears. Oh. Yeah, there you go. We need it. We need more sheep. 
Where is she? Should you do a camel? Should we get Ayana draw a camel as well? Can you draw a camel? Can you do a camel up there. Anyway? Camel. Oh, okay. <laughs> what does a camel look like? <laughs> okay, you don't have to. <laughs> Two humps. The you can make you can put a little paint you can use glitter you can use tissues um stickers um you just have fun with it and then you can change it out as well so you just need to um, pop it open you can put treats inside or you can give it as a gift that's a really good idea if you make a few of them you can give it as a gift to your family you can do a little extra exchange like Iana can make this. They go, here you go. She can give it to her brother and put a little sweet or a little toy in there or a little gift card. And then I can give this to Iana. Here you go, Iana. There'll be a little present in there for her. So you can exchange it to each other. Um, and that might be fun. And you can give it a surprise will be inside there tomorrow for your family or your friends or your mum and dad. <laughs> Hi. Did everyone enjoy it? Yes. Yay. <laughs> Do you want to all hold up your creation so we can all see? Yeah. Everyone can have a look at the same time. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Yay. Very yeah. nice. I love it. So colorful. Very oh, creative. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, we hope you have a really good eat tomorrow. We might see some of you. I say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And eat Mubarak for tomorrow.